Alright guys, do you remember the pouch I made for the old Frost Mora knife? Well, I ripped it open because I didn't like it. It had a big block of wood inside and the neck was um, stuffed with scrap bits of leather. That's the knife that I made. That's an old um, Frost Mora knife which I rescued. It was covered in um, rust. I had to take uh, some layers of uh, steel off this um, to get it back to to new. But um, yeah, I made this a long time ago. Never actually done a video on it. But still works really well. Now the um, sheath, I ripped it took the studs out which was a lot of work, ripped it open, removed the, um, the neck liner and uh, basically what I'm going to do is reshape it to fit this. So this is going to be the, the new one that's going into it. I also made this a while ago. There is a different video for that on my channel. So basically what I'm doing is I'm wetting this. I actually just have wet it. I'm going to do it again. And as the blade fits in here, hang on, as it fits into here, I'm going to cut that leather back a bit, probably cut it along there and redo the edge. There we go. And I'm just going to leave that for the rest of the day. I use phone books because I use phone books because it doesn't apply uh, too much pressure in just one spot. And I just use this clamp just to stop the um, the two sides of the sheath shifting. So that keeps it in line. And the phone book and the rounded part of this table bench adds a nice little curve to the leather where the handle actually stops just in there. Because if I use this edge, it'll just be a little too sharp, it'll cut into the leather. But by using a rounded smooth edge like this, you create um, a rounded smooth mold on the leather. So we'll come back to this later. All right, um, I've cut this leather back a little bit. And you see here I've trimmed some excess off. And the blade only comes to about here. So I've basically filled it in with some new leather. And I've clamped the 
first two sections, that's actually two sections, I'm not sure if you can see the, um, the join just there. And I've got one little bit to go. That will go in there. And then I'm going to put in some more studs all the way down and this is going to be a stitch free sheath it's going to be approximately one two three four five six approximately eight studs in that and judging by how hard they were to get out the first time um, it's not going to fall apart plus the glue this is going to be one solid secure little sheath Right, I'm going to stud them. All we've got to do now is trim off the excess leather. Okay everyone, it's finished. See how the studs match in with the handle? I buff the sheath with uh, beeswax, give it a bit of extra protection.
Now the thing is about this, um, it's actually going to be sold on eBay. And what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description box down below, or over the side, or up the top, wherever YouTube decide to put it nowadays. So there you have it. It went from this to this. So the knife and the sheath both going to go on eBay. And yes, I will ship internationally.